All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Off to a fairly slow start. Sorry about that. Had to clear up my dinner stuff. Had to get everything set up. Then I realized that I my ROM was messed up, so I had to get a new one. Hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, and of course, more technical difficulties, because... Oh, wait, hang on. Never mind, I just wasn't on the actual, uh, window. Hey, Mobius, welcome. I'll just be my new little name, I think. Party. That, what? It will not let me go back. I do. That's a new one on me, I must admit. Alright, and I'm playing as Kirby today, so... This will be some fun times, I think. Let's get started now. Twenty bucks. Ironically, I like playing as Kirby in this more than I like playing Kirby's actual games. Hopefully the interface looks alright. Looks pretty good to me. 50 bucks! You th you've never played Kirby before? I mean, to be honest, Kirby games tend to be really expensive after they're out for a while. Alright, and we've got bombs. Sweet. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. Every time I click and add something to the tracker, I have to re-click into the SNES window in order to gain control again. More bombs! Let's blow some stuff up, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks! I didn't make the tracker. I just got one from someone else. I will not be using the tracker for the actual race, though. It takes too long. That's not gonna help me go fast. Oh, and, and is the volume balance good between my voice and the music playlist? I can see the relative level of loudness being from OBS's window, or actually I'll have to bring up OBS's window again in order to see that. Alright. Oh, hmm, okay, so the mushroom is there. Music's a bit loud. All right. Well, you know what I can do about that? How's that? So the mushroom is in that cave, which, and if I want to get the mushroom, that means I have to defeat Aghanim in Hyrule Castle. And that is the only thing that uh, Aghanim leads to, so I'd ideally like to not have to beat him if I don't have to, but you never know. Ten arrows. I also like how Kirby uses his umbrella to pick stuff up. <laughs> they just leave a bunch of arrows lying out here, I guess. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Those bird enemies are so annoying. It's really difficult to deal with them. Ah, Kakariko, land of a thousand items. Now we're gonna see what's up. I'm glad you can finally join in a stream, Proxima, because I know you didn't want to join in the Ocarina of Time Randomizer or Majora's Mask Randomizer streams because you haven't played those games yet. So I'm glad you get a chance to actually do this since you just finished Link to the Past yourself. Fire Rod! Oh, that's a good item. Peace of Heart. Always nice. Hook Shot! Oh, this is Kirby's lucky day. Those are some really important items. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
Dana. I've just been getting a lot of bombs going, <laughs> so I don't even have to farm for more. Fantastic. Ooh, the magic cape. All right. And the blue tunic. All right, so we're blue Kirby already. And a red potion. All right. That's... wow. And the Pegasus boots! <laughs> oh my gosh, I got the Pegasus boots this early. That's so good. I love the Pegasus boots. Oh, you haven't been this generous with the seed for the Sunday race? I mean, that's fine. I wasn't expecting you to be as generous as this. This is insane luck that I've been getting. Uh, I'll be interested to see, like, where you've hidden stuff. Because I actually didn't know you could make custom seeds for this until you noticed that, so... <laughs> hopefully the hopefully it won't be a sadistic seed, but I don't think so. A lot of red rupees hanging around. Hey kid, I have a bottle. Give me something for free. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not used to having the Pegasus seeds, uh, Pegasus seeds, the Pegasus boots this early. It's wonderful though. Yeah! Kirby's got a sword. Watch out, world. <laughs> this reminds you of Ocarina of Time, Goron Valley? Alright, well, it's not from that. <laughs> Your time was eight seconds. Nice, you can have this trash. Well, that's rude. Alright. So now we've got some options of where we want to explore next. Still have... Uh, it is a little disappointing I haven't found the Power Gloves nor the Moon Pearl yet. Okay, that's nice that that's they're live on YouTube, but I can't watch that right now. No, can I? That icon's never going away unless I click it away. Alright. Item you're always glad to get early is the lamp. That's true. I mean, I'm not going to go anywhere in th that's pitch black without the lamp. Like, the one place I could potentially do is, like, a, se a series of rooms in the Eastern Palace. But I can't do all of Eastern Palace without the lamp. <laughs> I'm glad you approve of the music, Mobius. Indeed, Koopa's Road is a great song. We've got a red crystal in Desert Palace. We have, and then two normal crystals in Eastern Palace and Tower of Hera. Cool, so... 
<laughs> that means the Light World dungeons are all necessary, which means there will be free Dark World dungeons we can skip. Unless we really need the pendants for something or another. It might be called Bowser's Road, actually. I know Koopa's Road is the Japanese version of the song because Bowser's name is Koopa in Japan. And the YouTube video I found with this song called it Koopa's Road, so... That's the name I gave it. <laughs> you never knew that Bowser's name was Koopa. <laughs> I know that because, uh, randomly, when we were playing Melee, back in my day, uh, we decided, hey, let's turn on Japanese voices and the announcer whenever you chose Bowser was like, Koopa! Or like, that's hilarious. I'm always glad to get a tunic upgrade early on as well. And the hookshot is a surprisingly powerful item. It can one-shot a lot of stuff in the game. There we go, stupid mini mold arms. Alright. Treasure pile. There's the power gloves. I've been looking for you. And the Book of Ludora. Excellent. 20 bucks. A piece of heart. And a piece of heart. Dang, yeah. Moldorm Cave has usually got the good stuff. Still don't have the moon for though. So I can't really go to the Dark World until I get that. Actually, I think there's like one item you can get in the Dark World as Bunny Link. Or in Kirby's case, as Meta Knight. By the way, Mobius, are you competing in the race on Sunday? Because I know, like, me and Nessie were going to, and I think Grandpa Ramon wanted to as well. You plan to be there? Excellent. So I don't really want to go to Eastern Palace until I get the bow. Because you can't beat that dungeon without the bow. Oh, I guess I could go to Desert Palace now. Oh yeah, I totally could go to Desert Palace. Alright, well that'll be my next stop. generally find something good going to Zelda's dungeon in Hyrule Castle, so maybe I'll get lucky again. <laughs> I'm getting like the caveman music for Hyrule Castle. Going through the tracker window, this window is always annoying. By the way, Sunday race will be standard mode where you have to escape first. Okay. I'm really hoping that the weapon you give us to deal with all the guards is not bombs or the cane of Burnia. No spoilers, though. Give me that big key. 
hit the map. Well, I got the magic boomerang, so it wasn't a total loss. Because I remember there was one time where I did a randomizer for standard mode. And what happened is... <laughs> I was brought to... Uh, my uncle, and the one weapon I had to deal with the guys was the Cane of Burnia, which just saps your magic like no tomorrow. And I, I couldn't get through it. Same if you get, like, four bottles. Alright, new bottle. I actually do die in this game quite a bit, so that's going to be nice to have. Bumped my microphone there. That's the kind of cash I'm looking for. Also, in my many times playing The Link to the Past Randomizer, King Zora has never, ever given me anything useful. He's always ripped me off in some way or another. Alright, off to the Desert Palace. Because we can get through that now. And it's so good that we have the fire rod. Because that makes the boss really easy. The boss is super weak to fire rod. Alright. <laughs> 20 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to get that. That's actually one of my favorite sequences in the game, is you, like, Link praying to open the, up the way to that de desert palace. Accompanied with the music, it's a beautiful moment. Wait, <laughs> I've never seen that before. You can drag the sandworm out of his sand pit, but the sand pit stays there. That's fantastic. Small key. A small key is exactly what one would need to open a small door. I am so st I seriously can't tell you how stoked I am to get the Pegasus boots this early in the game. Most seeds I play, you get the Pegasus boots towards the end. That's a long time walking with nowhere fast to go. <laughs> Map and compass in the two rooms that I didn't need to get. strong seed start. Once I get the moon pearl and the bow, I'll have most of what I need to complete the game. Silly me. I don't have the big key yet. Yeah, I meant to go here first. A glove is in the big chest in Swamp Palace. Okay, I'm really glad I read that. So if I want the Titan's Mitt, I'm gonna need to do that, which means I'm gonna need the hammer before I can really go anywhere in the... can really go to the Dark World. And speaking of the hammer...
The hammer is one of those ones that tends to show up pretty early in the seed as well. Is that an, actu an actually helpful hint? What is this game? Actually, because there are so few, uh, like, hints scattered throughout the game, like hint stones, most of the ones tend to be helpful. Only a few of them tend to be like, <laughs> make sure you brush your teeth after you eat, which is actually is good advice, just not the type you're looking for in this game. Doing the boss with only three hearts. That can actually could be tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going into that boss room without full magic. <laughs> I don't like how the tiles can respawn. Cursed Bemos. Bemos are annoying in every game. Oh, good. Tiles didn't respawn that time, but they did the first time. Okay. Alright. Time to fight the land mullahs. Desert Palace Crystal. Sweet! <laughs> Kinda weird to see Kirby standing there without the fanfare. <laughs> Alright, so we are doing very well for ourselves. So now... <laughs> now what I really have to do... Uh, let's see... What I really have to do now is just find the Moon Pearl. Because I can go to the Dark World, but without the Moon Pearl, I can't really do anything except... Actually, no. Without the Moon Pearl, I literally can do nothing in the Dark World. Alright, let's go to Sahasrilo's house. I think that's how you say his name. Hey, dude. Want something for free? Go earn the green pendant in the Ice Palace. Oh, sweet. Pendant Ice Palace. That's so good. Uh, yeah, that's the one. I don't like Ice Palace, so I'm glad I can skip it. And there's the Moon Pearl. I've been looking for you, my sweet. Uh, where is Moon Pearl on here? There it is. Excellent. Dark world, here we come. Oh my gosh, I'm going to the dark world with only four hearts, though. So, basically everything can two-shot me, even with the blue tunic. I also do not have the magic mirror, so that could be a problem, too. Alright, so to start things off, alright, we got Pendant Mire, sweet. 
and we've got Pendant, Ice Palace, and Pendant, all oh, Pendant Thieves Town. But that's my favorite dungeon. And then we've got Palace of Darkness is a red crystal. Okay, alright. Alright, let's go to this cave. This has a lot of stuff in it. Magic powder! Separated magic powder and the uh, mushroom. All right, piece of heart. Oh, good, another heart container. Sweet, fifty rupees. Another heart container and fifty rupees. All right, I feel safer now. So I can't do a lot of Palace of Darkness till I get the lamp and the bow. So I don't really want to go there. Let's see what the flute turned into. Or not the flute, let's see what the shovel turned into. Hey, thanks for the 50 bucks, dude. I'll probably end up going into Thieves Town anyways, because there's quite a lot of treasure there, and it's really easy. You can't do anything in Swamp Palace without the flippers or the mirror. <laughs> One rupee. Thanks, dude. I think I'm gonna do is go the long way around. I don't have the Titan's Mint, so I can't take the shortcut up to the City of Outcasts, but I can take the long way around. Oh, let's see if I can time it. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, if you press the Pegasus Boots button and the Item button at the same time, you will use Pegasus Boot Dash while using the item. So that'll allow you to hammer a whole bunch of pegs in a row. You can also use that to, like, cast the Fire Rod while doing Pegasus Dash. It's kind of cool. It just requires me to pull, like, I take my thumb off of the control stick to put a thumb on each of the buttons. Otherwise, I will not be able to do it. Alright, what's on here? The red tunic! <laughs> Alright, well, if I die now, it's because of my own stupidity and badness, so we, had, we now have quadruple defense. That is nice to have. That's a nice safety net to have. I now play as a tomato for the rest of the game. Let's see what the Quake Medallion turned into. Hello, catfish. Give me something good, please. That's not something good. I like how I'm getting the really lighthearted music in the dark world. And I'm about to die as Red Kirby. Oh, the shame. 
thought of changing my name. Actually, wait a second. Does this shop sell red potion? It does. Let's buy some. I'll buy a shield as well. Yeah, I'm getting all the happy music in the dark world, of course. <laughs> Hi, Hinox. for going through this cave. Twenty bucks, not worth it. Actually, I think I can beat Skull Woods now. Missing the Titans mitt, so I can't do a whole lot of stuff around the village area, but there are a few chests I can get here. Oh, that's the flute. Alright, that's nice. That's really nice. Magic mirror is in here, I will squeal with delight. Not the magic mirror, but it is the flippers, and that's a very good piece of equipment to have too. So now I can actually use. I can actually beat Swamp Palace now. I don't think there are any dark rooms in Skullwood, so I think I will do that next. Dungeon will also be fairly tricky to do, even with the red tunic and these few these few amount of parts. With as few hearts as these, there. I've been getting very lucky with what I found in the overworld. I found most of the important items in the game. Oh, heart 
container, thank you. Alright. This hole would now be pretty darn doable. I hate the red beetles. That's what I was looking for. One thing I do dislike about the Link to the Past is, at least for the randomizers, there are lots of enemies that carry key small keys and I can never remember which enemies are the ones that drop them. So oftentimes I'll be like, I'm missing a small key, where is it? Oh yeah, an enemy is carrying it, that's what. Thanks. <laughs> well, I still have one small key, and I can save an extra key by not opening that door to the left of me there, because that just hooks up to a room I've already been in. Oh, I forgot about the recoil on those things. Hey! Not getting me today, Wallmaster. Not getting me today. No, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting, this room doesn't have anything in it. I just wasted a small key. Aw oh, man, I could have had two small keys to spare at the end. Oh well. I still don't know why the fire rod destroys that thing. It doesn't make much sense to me. It's a stone statue that burns? Question mark?
Uh, why can't this be Oracle of Seasons and Ages, where your sword is like twice as long as you are? It feels like a dagger in this. And not like the good kind of dagger, but like the wow, this is not a sword, because it's so short. Spikes, that's nice. Unfortunately, I'm about to enter the Mafula fight with only three hearts. Oh, you didn't know Hammer could break uh, pots or skulls? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no! You're a mean one, Mr. Wallmaster. I do have a red... I do have two red potions, though, so I will use those if necessary. Stop being a jerk, Mom. No. No. What's really annoying about this fight is if Mafula gets if you damage Mafula but then it gets knocked into the spikes, it doesn't take any damage. Like at all. Like right there, because I knocked it into the spikes, it, did, it didn't take any damage. Unless Mafia flashes, it, it does not take any damage. Well, I had to use a red potion, almost two. Oh, heart container. Vanilla, that's nice. did not say to go full screen, I only clicked once. Alright, well, in terms of dungeon items, that had a fat lot of nothing. Let's go to Swamp Palace next, because I can actually beat that. <laughs> Even if Argus is going to be a little tricky without the bow. Oh wait, no, I can't do Swamp Palace. Not until I get the, uh, Magic Mirror. Yeah. Uh, I don't need any Bomber Arrow extensions. Let's see what the guy under the bridge has, though. It's always been such a bizarre thing to me why you need the mirror to do the Swamp Palace. Because you can just go, drain the water, you leave the screen, like literally just one screen over, go into the Dark World, but then all of a sudden the water is magically back. I don't... It doesn't make any sense to me. 20 bucks. All right, well, I can go over to Zora's Fountain now. Hey, Nessie! Welcome, welcome! To Artie forgets how to get stuff in the Link to the Past. This is what I was looking for. 
Yeah, that's exactly the portal I was looking for. Oh, I also have to go to Kakariko and get, activate the flu. Alright, nothing from there. I'm guessing Kinzord isn't going to give me anything. I have never seen anybody get anything useful from Kinzor in the random in the randomizer. Yeah, piece of heart. I mean, piece of heart's nice, not necessary though. Legend of, the Legend of Zelda Kirby to the past. This is gonna be traveling a whole lot nicer. Oh, and now I can go to Death Mountain! Of course! Just because I haven't saved the old man with the lantern doesn't mean I can't go to Death Mountain now. Oh, that'll be nice! Guards, help! The creeper Artie! Well, that's rude. Artie's not a creeper. one fiend in the game you need magic powder for. <laughs> Hello, creepy bat. What are you giving me today? He's giving me another bottle. I will not complain of that. More bottles for me means more potions I can get. And as we have already seen, I need my potions. These mole guys are very irritating. They're fast and erratic. And on top of that, they have huge hitboxes. Piece of heart up there. Alrighty. But what's in here? Piece of heart. Yeah, yeah, I'll grab that. Plus, I get a hint for doing this as well. I bet you expected help, didn't you? I mean, it would have been nice. <laughs> I love Pegasus boots. One of the nicest items in Zelda. Even if I fi even if I do like Pegasus seeds a little more. A lot of treasure in Death Mountain, so let's see what some of these are. T uh, 20 bucks. Pizza card. <laughs> and now here's the room that 
is really good. Alright, the Bombos Medallion. That's going to be pretty nice, maybe. Trio of Bombs. Piece of Heart. Trio of Bombs. And the Lamp! I've been waiting for that one. Oh, I just realized I can totally do a Tower of Hera now. And I've also learned Moldorm's pattern, so he's not even that annoying anymore. Oh yeah, Tower of Hera next. I hate these fans so much! <laughs> Rich stone mold, moles, like, why do they exist? Alright, Tower of Hera. What you got for me? Besides a crystal. Yeah, I don't care about the compass. A dog exists somewhere. Nice Undertale reference. Big key! Alright, so this is going to be one where we have to double back to the beginning of the dungeon later on. small key in the Tower of Hera. <laughs> they exist to be inspiration for the rock golems and draw. I'll, I'll accept that. The unique item is in Kakariko Well. well <laughs> there were several unique items in Kakariko Well, and I have already been there. Oh, also, the hookshot. We get to skip out on this. Oh. I was hoping the map would be in the room we have to backtrack to. But alas, it was not meant to be. So now I have to go back and check that room. Bugger. <laughs> Look at the hitbox on that fire. I didn't even touch it. Kirby's just very sensitive to heat. Um... That was the biggest ricochet in the history of the world. Let's go kill a troll dorm, shall we? Goodbye. He used to be my greatest nemesis, and now he doesn't scare me. 
<laughs> now we get the really long, slow pause of Kirby like, I got it! <laughs> because there's no music. <laughs> What's this secret? <laughs> Uh, the secret is, occasionally he'll charge at you, and when he starts charging at you, he's not going to turn in a different direction for a few seconds. So you can use that to your advantage. You can also use the Pegasus Boots to dash through him, but because I had the hammer, that wouldn't deal near nearly as much damage. These tower rooms just take a while. It's a little annoying. <laughs> yeah, that really wasn't worth it. <laughs> I could do Aghanim 1 now and get the mushroom and see where that leads. But I'd rather not. I've got to find the magic mirror. Oh wait, hang on a second. I got the lamp. <laughs> Why can't I even move through these guys? They're literal rocks. Alright, yeah, I can see in this cavern now. So now I can save the old man. Maybe the old man still has the magic mirror even here. Pegasus boot dash when the old man's around. He's like, I can't run that fast, so you're not going to run, so you do the slowest Pegasus boot dash ever. damage even while like dashing your with your sword into that thing when you get invincibility frames <laughs> those enemies are the worst <laughs> I'm used to killing those guys with the Pegasus boot dash but not when you only have the level one sword Literally the only enemy. No. Okay, those little. The moles that turn to stone and beamoses. They're the worst. They're always super annoying and you can't kill them in any way. In any way. Cane of Burnia, huh? Okay. Not exactly a required item. go to Palace of Darkness, but I there's I can't get past the statue with there are actually a lot of things I can't get past without the bow there, so 
I'd rather not. I could go to City of Outcasts. I could also go to Ice Palace, but neither of them are required. Ice Palace does have the Pendant of Courage, which gets me an item from Sahasrila. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Actually, no, I, I can't go to Ice Palace without the Titans. Alright, so that's out. <laughs> Every time I say something aloud, I see Proxima typing in chat the exact same thing I was thinking. <laughs> Give me a break, there's so much stuff hidden behind so much stuff. I could go to Eastern Palace, but I can't complete Eastern pa That's the problem. Both Eastern Palace and Palace of Darkness I can't complete without the bow. I could complete a significant amount of Eastern Palace without the bow, though. Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to have to go to Thieves Town just yet, either, so... Let's check out Eastern Palace. Can enemy placement be randomized? Yes. I don't play that way, though. Because you could get a room with, like, 20 Hinoxes that you have to kill. Actually, that's a bad example. Hinoxes aren't too bad. Oh, that happened to you in your practice seat? Yeah. Because there are rooms where it's like, oh, you have to kill all the enemies in order to proceed, and there can be like 20 rats in the room that you have to kill. Well, substitute rats with anything that's more annoying, and you've got yourselves a bad time. Okay, thank you for not randomizing enemies for the race on Sunday. I appreciate that. I know most, almost all the Zelda enemies from the 3D games. Once you get to the 2D games, though, I start to be like, oh, that's that's a translation of a 3D enemy. Like, I didn't realize the guys in the Dark World that throw bombs were Hinoxes. I thought Hinoxes were exclusive Breath of the Wild. Oh, also, we can do a little sequence break in here. Yeah, I think I also called them Cyclopses because they're one eye. Nope, Hinoxes. containers hidden in the first dungeon. I mean, that's funny. Some cash is above the pose. I don't know what that means. Sorry, no habla espanol. The only speedrunning trick. Oh, there's a, there's a trick in that room where you only spawn two of the stealth is Interesting. I'm not familiar with that. I can navigate these two rooms in the dark with enough HP. Anything more advanced than that, though, I'm out. All 
Alright, I really hope the bow is in here. Or the mirror. The King of Samaria was there, so... <laughs> you went to get it, turned out you didn't need it. King of Samaria you don't need, especially if you don't need to go to Misery Mire. That's the compass. I was afraid of that. Still, I got two heart containers, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a go button here for go mode. That's fantastic. Alright. Um... Guess Palace of Darkness now? places to check. Well, without delving into Thieves Town, which is a pendant dungeon that I really don't want to do. Oh, eh. There we go. Of course, that was slower than just hammering them by hand one at a time, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I also did not know about that trick until I started watching Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizer speedruns. That really helps with pounding all of the pegs in the Dark World uh, Village of Outcasts. There's like a ser series where you have to pound like 20 pegs or so in order to open up a secret way. That trick helps with that. Alright, how do you do that? You have to hold down the button to use the Pegasus boots and hold down the button to use an item on the exact same frame. It's that simple. Small key, cool. Just what I needed. Alright, if I go to the right, all that will do is lead me to a room with mimics that I can't kill, because I don't have the bow. So let's go up. No, you can't use the hookshot to kill mimics, unfortunately. Watch this be the map of the compass. But I can dream. For hundred bucks! I mean, cool, I'll take that. I can always buy more potions. This room. This room's a lot of fun with all of the beetles around. That's an easy way to take care of the red beetle.
bother. So I can't beat this dungeon, but I can get to a lot of the chests. Big key. All right, cool. Wanted to see that. Small key. Also wanted to see that. Small key. All right. I wanted a peanut. <laughs> the map. <laughs> the magic school bus game. I'm so glad someone saw it. Yeah. <laughs> magic school bus game is amazing. It also had weird, like, a weird soundtrack that sounded almost like a porno. But boy, howdy, is it good. The only two, the body and the jungle one. I had Solar System and Explores the Ocean, and I think we also had Explores the Rainforest? Master Sword, which just opens up the tablet near Tower of Hera, the Ether one. Actually, I believe we've reached the point where I, yeah, that's all the treasure I can get. Everything else requires the bow. Alrighty, well... I have to make the choice. Do I want to go to Thieves Town? Yeah, I'm going to Thieves Town. Thieves Town has a lot of treasure in it, so... Oh, good call. Yeah, I do need to update my sword on the track. Thank you, Proxima. Doesn't the trapdoor sound play when going to the dark world? It's not a sound effect, it's actually a music track, and I said no background music. So apparently that makes that disappear too. I can't take the portal to Oh no, I can! I could take the portal to Lost Woods, yeah, because there's a hammer peg that you can do. I'm so used to being like, oh, Lost Woods, you need the, you need the, uh, the, the Titan's Mist to go for that. Well, <laughs> take the long way home. Take the long way home. <laughs> All right, Thieves Town. Here's a dungeon I'm pretty good at. I have a. I basically do this dungeon first in my playthroughs, so even the boss I consider to be one of the easier ones once you once you know what his pattern. Our container. It's time to shoot sword beams.
Ironically, Meta Knight can't do anything. He's the equivalent of Bunny Link. Oh, I hate the enemies hiding under the bridges, too, for sure. But the enemies themselves are really easy for the Dark World. Big key. It's not just for the boss anymore. Actually, now that I think about it, Link to the Past was the first game to introduce big keys. enemies. You also, I don't think, can kill them. Unless, does magic powder mm -hmm. kill them? No, it doesn't. <laughs> they looked similar to anti-fairies, so I couldn't be sure. <sighs> Speaking of anti-fairies... <laughs> Thus far, Thieves Town is a bit of a bust. Hopefully I can find something in here that's worth coming here for. I mean, I did find a heart container. So I do like that. But I want the mirror! Or the bow! I need the mirror, I need the bow, I need the silver arrows. I might need the Cane of Samaria. I want half magic. I like how the thieves in here are dragons. It's a cool touch. <laughs> Judging by the music, they're also dragons from the west. Oh yeah, I will definitely need King of Samaria. If yeah, I forgot I have to do Turtle Rock. You're not knocking me off the edge again. sisters. <laughs> you always get the bow at the end, Nessie. For me, I usually get the Pegasus boots at the end. Along with the red tunic, the sword upgrades, the mirror shield, and the silver arrows. The silver arrows are always the fan where it's like, oh, I can do Ganon, but I don't have the silver arrows, and they could literally be anywhere. <laughs> Alright, well... Yeah, 
Not for most of the dungeon, so it should be just straight shooting to the end. That was a pun, by the way. I forgot about all the wind in this track. I'm going to have to edit that to cut it out. I'm guessing Blind didn't have anything. If he ended up having something like the Silver Arrows, though, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a problem. Alright, Armos Knights. The boss that I fought was impossible when I was young, before I realized the solid metal Armos Knights are weak to wooden arrows. For reasons. Because as a child, even as a child, I'm like, okay, the bow fires wooden arrows. These guys are made of, like, stone or metal. That's not going to do anything. No, apparently it does a lot. Still no mirror, though. to brighten. This actually, this might, the Palace of Darkness might be my favorite dungeon in the game, actually. Well, Thieves Town is pretty good as well. Yeah, Thieves Town is my favorite. The Palace of Darkness is probably a second. It's And a lot of it has to do with the boss, who is just really cool. Small 
Neat. All right. I believe we are now. We are cleared to enter. <laughs> Welcome to Pizza Planet. I like mimics. Mimics are cool enemies. It boggles my mind that there are speedrunners out there who can do the whole game without ever needing to get the lamp. That's just insane to me. I should play draws sometime, it might change my opinion of Mimics. I like my opinion of Mimics, though. I already have such f such little free time. <laughs> and so many games to play. As an adult, I have less free time, but I have a lot more money. So it's always the bright side to look for. Alright. This might be my favorite boss in the game? It's definitely one of my favorite bosses. It's my cat, Chester. I mean, the Helmet Sword Cane. You had, you had to hammer his helmet? I didn't know you could blow his helmet up with bombs. That must have been quite frustrating to deal with. Alright, so I'm gonna need the ice rod and the cane of Samaria. And then and the magic mirror. And at that point I think I'm in go right now. Still no magic mirror. This is a little disconcerting. Alright, well... I guess I'll see what the Ether tablet has for me. I have never had a seed where I've gotten the Titan's Mitt so late. Normally that's one of like the first items you get before entering the Dark World. You also now can see kind of my style of play Proxima, where I use the Pegasus Boots basically everywhere. And you always forgot you had them in your blind LP. <laughs> Good for me? Magic mirror, perhaps? Bombs. No, that's not what I wanted.
I can't believe I'm doing this, but you know what, King Zora? I'm kind of running out of places to look. So maybe for 500 rupees he'll give me the magic mirror. actually could lead somewhere. Also, that is one expensive shovel. It's like you go to Home Depot. Hey, do you have any shovels? Yeah, $500. It's like, how do you justify that price? Well, all proceeds go towards King Zor's dinner. Alright, sounds good to me. I'll buy it. Also, I could technically have gotten it that ages ago from King Zora. The first time I went to that fountain area to check out what the piece of heart was, I couldn't have because I didn't have enough money. But I found a lot of things of 300 rupees, so... And there's the mirror! Some guy buried- some guy apparently broke the mirror, got seven years of bad luck, he's like, oh shoot, I can't deal with this, and then goes to hide it. <laughs> he like buries it in his backyard to avoid the bad luck. That- that's my canon story. So, because Kinzor kind of was hiding it. Alright, off to Swamp Palace. Which is easily one of the best designed water dungeons in any Zelda game. Oh yeah, uh, I've got that. And I got, uh, where's the shovel at? Yeah. Okay, so now at this point I need Cane of Samaria and the Ice Rod. <laughs> and that's, I think that's literally it. I actually am glad Kinzora had that, because if Kinzora did not lead me to the Magic Mirror, I was going to go and defeat Aghanim and get the Mushroom and then give that to the lady. You found Swamp Palace a little disappointing. You kept thinking there's so much more you could do with the idea of raising and lowering the water level, but oh. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll find that in another Zelda game. Dungeons, and you'll find out just how annoying that is. So that's one of the things I actually praised about Swamp Palace, is the fact that, like, yeah, you do lower the water level in areas, or raise it, but then you can't go back, so you can't, you don't have to keep going back and forth and back and forth, constantly changing the water levels, which happens in the other games. But you may not get to those games until a while. Like, I th I th you watched my Oracle of Ages Let's Play. There's Jabu Jabu's Belly in there, which is a 2D dungeon where you do have to constantly change the water level, and it is very annoying to do so. Also, 
Also, I thought that this palace was called the Watergate Palace. I swear I read that somewhere, but I mean, its official name is Swamp Palace. It says so in the ending credits, so... Maybe that was just like a walkthrough that I read once. Where it's like, oh, Watergate Palace, because Watergate... <laughs> Which honestly sounds like something that I would do. I just realized I didn't go down there. And I think that there is a key under that skull. Did I just screw myself out of getting that? Hope not. I feel like if that was a bug, they would have found it and fixed it by now, so I don't, I don't think of it. I don't, I don't think that they would have done, uh, left that in. They would not have made that possible to do. Or if so, I could probably leave the dungeon and it would come back. Oh, you can leave the dungeon and reset to get that back. All right. Plus, it was pretty close to the start of the dungeon, so... Wait... But that gate's still active. Oh, sweet, okay. I was a little worried there for a second. Like, the other gate still had the water falling out of it. Oh, yeah. Jungle Beat is such a good game. Like, holy cow. If, if you have just the regular game controller, it's terrible. But if you actually have the bongo controller, it is so freaking fun. One of the most just, like, legitimately pick-it-up-and-play-it fun games I've played. I've played. Really underrated. This is the part of the dungeon I don't remember as well. I think I want to go this way first. Okay, yeah, the bongo controller is good. <laughs> That's the only way to play it. Here's a game I might play on stream eventually, Rayman 2. People will, like wax poetic about how good it is. I always thought it was kind of boring and lackluster for a 3D platformer. Have not beaten it. So that could be one I could go back and beat. Darn it! Went down the wrong path. Uh, the game I'm talking about, Rayman 2, The Great Escape. It's a 3D platformer that has gotten what I personally would consider unwarranted critical acclaim. It's not bad, it's just not particularly fun for a 3D platformer. 
kind of has like one Rayman one what I really liked about even though it was like brutally difficult was how bright and colorful the worlds were and imaginative and then Rayman 2 it's like there's one world theme swamp there's the big key there's the big compass That was bizarre. <laughs> you never played Rayman? Rayman 1 has great music and great, like, graphics and great world, like, theming, but it's just too difficult. Like, it gets to the point where it's so difficult it is not fun, which is bad. I don't mind difficult, but it still has to be fun. You also have to 100% it if you want to beat the game. Okay, surely I have all the heart containers at this point. Argus time. <laughs> the Wave Man theme for the water dungeon. How fitting. Guess not. Alright, well, didn't get anything super great in that dungeon. Got like two heart containers. Guess now it's time to start using the magic mirror on the world map to get to some new places. Oh, wait, wait a second. How could I forget to get the Titan Mitts, which are in the big chest? I'm not a huge fan of Mega Man 5, but doggone it, it had good music. Oh, wait a second. I thought I had to sneeze, but I guess not. There's the Titan Mints. Good thing I didn't forget that. I almost did, but almost these don't count. Yeah, six is a lot better than five. I, I like the Robot Master stages for five, I just hate the weapons and I hate the Fortress stages. Alright, Bombos Medallion, what's the, what you gonna be? Piece of heart, alright. Uh, where else to check? 
check, please? Actually, wait. Now that I have a lot of the portals open, I can use the flute for fast travel. Yeah, I forgot you can go <laughs> up and down past those pegs with the hammer. My bad. Because you have to, because in the vanilla game, you have to be... You, you are able to enter Skull Woods without the Titan Myth. Yeah, this is the part where that glitch really helps out. Five bucks. Lame. That wasn't worth it. Now the dwarf gets to go back home. You're welcome, dude. Oh, I also could potentially need either the Ether or Quake Medallion in order to enter Turtle Rock. There's a chance I need something other than Bombos to do that. Alright, treasure chest. Let's ride. Come on, follow me. No, come on. Oh, and I just realized I also have access to the big bomb in the bomb shop. Sure, I can take you someplace nice. <laughs> There's an old homeless man who's really good at lockpicking, and I'm sure you'll love being with him. Piece of heart. Not bad. What was the purple chest in the vanilla game? An empty bottle, I believe. Bunch of bombs? No thanks. Oh. 
I'm surprised I remembered that, to be honest, because it's been a very long time since I've played Vanilla Link to the Past. I would like the big bomb, please. didn't find the fourth bottle until super late. It was great to get it for... Yeah. <laughs> That's right, you didn't find the guy under the bridge till really late. Which is understandable. He is well hidden. So I would love to see the Cane of Samaria and the Silver Arrows in here. And I got a bunch of bombs and 20 bucks. Very disappointing. All right. There's a few things I can get here. Let's hope one of them is a life. <laughs> Alright, so I can't even enter Misery Mire, which is actually I'm happy about that. Mystery Mire is probably my least favorite dungeon, along with Ice Palace. Oh, great. Well, now I can enter it. Ugh. There also could be something still in Thieves Town for defeating the blind. I hope not, though. Oh, don't say that. I really hope the mushroom doesn't leave you anything. Also, Turtle Rock, while not impossible without the Mirror Shield, boy howdy does the Mirror Shield help. And the only reason I have a shield at all is because I bought one at the shop. Dave Matthews and Grover singing about feelings on Sesame Street? I mean, Sesame Street's a great show. <laughs> Any LEGO Racers fans in here? Oh, yeah, I think getting lost in this dungeon is a prerequisite. I've played this so many times and I still get lost, especially as to the optimal way to do things.
exactly want to use my small key there, but you know what? I'll take it. Actually, yeah, I kind of did. Never mind. The job of the hot slugs? No. The blue beetle in that room has a small key? Wow. You, you have a better memory than I. Less magic. <laughs> Lego Racers, you never played, but Legos in general, <laughs> huge fan. Lego Racers. <sighs> See, Lego Racers was one of those racing games I grew up with. I'll say this. It is incredibly easy. The power-up system is stupidly broken. But at the same time, no other racing game even comes close to having as good shortcuts as Bug Racers does. Uh, all that for the compass? Oh yeah, Na oh yeah, Nail Man's theme. One of my favorite fan-made Robot Master themes. Wow, this looks heavy. You can't move it with your bare hands. This is heavy, dog. Nice call, Proxima. You are 100% right. And I totally would have missed that if you didn't say anything, so thank you. So he's still getting lost. Eh. Still no big key, though. the enemies bombed the ball before the door would open. That's a new one. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought that from the shop, you lackwit. There's the big key. Most enemies in Link to the Past are annoying in some way. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but... You used a big key to get a small key. I'm going a long way in this dungeon, considering, uh, it's a pendant dungeon. Oh, the worst would be if something important was hidden behind the Master Sword, and I had to get all three pendants to get in order to do that. Is there a chest back here? No, but there's a small key. Alright. <laughs> small keys everywhere. You 
not be turning me into Meta Knight today. That's true. I do have the book. I can check what's in there with the pet on the pedestal. Everywhere I go, they hit me. And everywhere I go, they hit me. Actually, wait. I think I've just reached the point where I can't go any further. Because now I need the Cane of Samaria to progress. There are a lot of things that turn you into Meta Knight in that dungeon. You know what, I think I will check the Master Sword pedestal, just to see what's there. I normally don't check the pedestal, because it's very out of your way, and, like, 90% of the time you don't need to do it. Maximum health increase. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. The mushroom could still eat somewhere, though. Oh, duh! Why didn't I think to do this earlier? I have, of course I know where I'm supposed to go. Death Mountain. I'll get my health healed by the old man. Hello, here you go. Thanks, bro. So there's a lot of stuff I can check on Death Mountain now that I have the Titan Mitts and the Mirror. So Misery Mire was a big bust. Oh wait, hang on. I have the Ether Medallion. Thank you very much. I hope a pedestal's not required on Sunday. Alright, well, we'll just figure it out when we get there, won't we? Oh, wait, hang on. I need to conserve my magic key. Oh, that's wonderful. I was hoping to get half magic, even though it's not required. <laughs> yeah, nice location indeed. Thanks for the free refill. Dark World Death Mountain is less dangerous than Light World Death Mountain, because Dark World Death Mountain doesn't have the falling rocks or those stupid molds.
Ten arrows, all right. <laughs> Don't need to go to that island. Oh, finally, Kirby music. All right, so do we need Bombos or do we need do we need Quake? We need Efer for this as well. Really? Might as well open it now, I suppose. I didn't know one medallion could be required to open up both Misery Mire and Turtle Rock. The more you know, I guess. All right, let's go to Hookshot Cave. That's where we're gonna find a whole lot of stuff. The Cane of Samaria. Excellent. So now we can enter Turtle Rock. And there's the Ice Rod! Now we can beat Turtle Rock! And there's ten arrows. Alright, well, guess we're going to Turtle Rock. But, once again, this puts me in the stupid position that I always end up in. I don't have the silver arrows. A bow is in Thieves Town. Yeah, I already got the bow in Thieves Town. Oh, so you did three fourths, you chose like, roughly three fourths of the location, then you randomly generated the rest. Didn't know you could do that. But I guess it makes sense. Alright, well. Hopefully the silver arrows aren't in some really stupid place. They're probably gonna be deep in misery mire. I don't know why sometimes the magic cape just doesn't let you use it. Small key. And the compass. Alright. Don't forget the cave next to Hookshot Cave. There's two chests there. I haven't forgotten. I'm just so eager to do Turtle Rock. Because I have to do Turtle Rock regardless. And, who knows, I could find the silver arrows here. So we're not object to getting the bug catching net. Ah, <laughs> uh, God bless the anti fairies and the magic power that turns them into regular fairies. 
<laughs> Especially in this Why is there so much slowdown? Oh, that's right, it's a super yes. That's another thing you didn't know for most of your- Yeah, most of us don't know that until we, Until you learn which enemies are the anti-fairies, you don't really know. And wow, I forgot how many heart containers are in this game. Then again, I'm also used to playing the Majora's Mask uh, randomizer, which there are only four heart containers in that. At least in the randomizer. Length of the Past just has a lot of hard containers, because there are so many dungeons you have to complete. There are three in the light world, and then seven in the dark world. So I guess that's ten hard containers. find something good in the Mimic Cave. were actually just hanging out here and they were saving up to buy a cafe downtown and then Link came in and then just stole from them. Or Kirby did. Link's not even in this. Link is still sleeping in his uncle's house. This is Kirby's the one who has to save the day, as usual. Well, speak of the devil, it's the bug catching net. And actually, that's actually a very good place to get the bug catching net because there there's a fairy cave coming up later on in the dungeon. Cane of Samaria is actually a very viable weapon as well, in addition to making blocks and platforms. Ironically, it's actually very good at defeating blind. Yes, you can defeat someone who is blind with a cane. It's very appropriate. This is the room that was out the mirror shoot, but not this room. This room is a nightmare without the mirror shield. But thankfully, you get a checkpoint right here.
I also can't remember how much red potion I have. Okay. So I have two empty bottles, so I'll be catching two fairies then. Oh, what luck! There are two fairies right here. That's why I was really happy to get the bug catching net at that point. Alright. I always end up getting sucked down that hole on the right, which leads for a long walk back to this portal. Very glad that didn't happen. Oh, this leads me in the... Oh, wait a second. Thankfully, we can use the magic cape to escape for most of this. Hey! Upgraded shield. Hey! Upgraded rupees. One of the nice things about this dungeon is that it gives you frequent large magic containers which refill your magic all the way. There is a speedrun trick for people who are better than us. Alright, time for another cool boss, Trinex, although he's a lot harder than I remember him being. And you absolutely want to take out the ice head first. everywhere. Well, that's just not nice. That one also takes five hits for some reason. One hit more than the ice hit. crystal, so at this point... No, I'm not in go mode yet, because I still... still need those darn silver arrows. And I really don't want to have to explore all of Ganon's castle. But it looks like I might have to. <laughs> Maybe they'll be here. That would be wonderful if they were right here. Piece of heart. 20 bucks. Alright, so they could be whatever you get for giving the witch the mushroom. Could be in Misery Mire somewhere. Could be dropped by blind. I have not been to Ice Palace at all. A little worrying. Well, I mean, I have to. I have to do Tower of Ganon, so I might as well go there first. I love how you can just jump up to that part that's behind the wall. Because apparently that's not a staircase, that's just a normal tile. Oh, wait a second. 
things there. I did not mark that I even had the shield. What a klutz I am. There's a jackpot up here of four chests, so maybe they're in here. Big key, I'm glad I got that early. Uh, the slowdown is actually hurting my performance. $300. And a small key. Alright, so... Small key in the bottom right pot in the bumper room I just went through. Oh, in this room. Good call. Yeah, when that popped up into the chat for me, I was long gone from that room. So, chat must be behind. Let me ask Twitch chat, when is it not behind? How many small keys there are in this dungeon? There's so many. A single arrow and bombs. Rats. No silver arrows anywhere.
Come on, Kirby. So why did they put that portal in? <laughs> Literally just to make it take longer. Oh, that's right, this room. This is appropriate music. Even if it is from a different game. Alright. Gotta face the music sometime. Oh, come on! And he's ball, won't he? I forgot E for freezes every buffet. For the map. You've got to be Falcon kidding me. Yeah. Basically. Oh, hey, fairies. Thank you. I actually forget if you can hookshot the fairies or not. Talk on it. Can I 
fire this way. Oh, I'm a stupid idiot. But I'm confused. How do we open this? Okay, well, on the map, there's something to... There's a room to the right of me, but I can't figure out how to go through there. The exit from the right side of the basement. Alright, as long as there's no chests in there. Oh, at the start, there are two routes you can take, and that's where they converge. Okay. Well, still not done with the basement. I missed a chest on the left side, though. It's just off the hookshot room. Well, I missed a chest down here, too. Hey, it's the Quake Medallion. Hey, it's a hundred bucks. I swear, the silver arrows are always the last thing you get. I'll get that later. For a loaf of bread? Whoa, you just clipped through the. Oh, I guess there's a little space. potion every day. That was it. That's all the rooms there for? As you can see, it's been a while since I've played Gannet's uh, Tower, the entire basement. Normally I'm just like, cool, I found the big key, let's go. orange juice. Here we go. 20 bucks. 
more 20 bucks. Again. Darn it. In case you guys couldn't tell, I, I love putting N64 music on this playlist. Wait, I'm sorry, but that is complete bullcrap. He didn't touch me. chest left. Left side off of the hook shot room. Alright. I have the full inventory now. It's just a question of can I get the freaking silver arrows? Looks like they're probably not in Ganon's castle unless they're in the upper floor somewhere. Oh, if I get to Ganon, he gives you a hint on where the silver is? Really? I definitely played a practice randomizer before this, even, and he did not do that.
Alright, well, they're probably an ice palace. That's my guess. The one place I did not have to go. Jackpot. I'm very happy that room exists. Ganon sure is nice to hand out these free, like, fairy rooms. He's like, I want Kirby to have a chance, so... Oh yeah, I remember. You couldn't figure out how to get across the gap, because the Pegasus Boots Ricochet is not exactly super intuitive, especially when you forget you have the Pegasus Boots, so... Bomb... I don't know how people can do bomb jumps in this, because every time I try, I just immediately fall off the cliff. Name one person who likes icy floors. One. I'll wait. Oh yeah, let more rematch. Also use magic powder on the things that turn you into a bunny, but only when they aren't moving. I did not know that. Objection? <laughs> I definitely dumped magic powder on that guy's face. <laughs> there we 
go! We got the bow and silver arrows, ladies and gentlemen. It was in the last chest! <laughs> I think literally the last chest. <laughs> I'll put them at the very end. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks, Ganon. So we actually are gonna finish up pretty darn quick, then. Because I think Aghanim is right up here. That was the most insane ricochet I've ever seen in my life. I don't... Okay... I get that ice makes it hard to stop, but ice in this, it's like, oh, you can't move. Like, literally, you're just like... It's not molasses. Hello, Akadim. Goodbye, Aghanim. <laughs> He's an easy fight. However, doing Ganon with only two fairies, I'm not very optimistic about my chances there. So I actually might go and hit a potion shop before I come in here, maybe? Well, you know what? I'll try. I have so many rupees, if I fail here, I'll just go and get a whole bunch of potions. And bada beam bada boom. The, the hemp... The hemiptera, or true bugs, are an order of insect. What are you even talking about? This is a Japanese game. We use English here. I'm very glad I don't have to fight Ganon with a hammer. As many professionals oh, are wont to do. Okay, well, this is not off to a good start. I'm only down to a few hearts. I'm more scared of Ganon's pet bats than I am of Ganon. Which doesn't seem right. Oh no, silver! My one true weakness! <laughs> Alright, well, that's not gonna work. Gonna need some potion.
Ganon's actually a tough final boss. Especially when you're me and not very good at Link to the Past. Pendant Dungeons for one free heart. That must be where the last heart container is. And I'm gonna say a hard no. Sorry, not sorry. Now my only real danger for this fight is running out of magic. Seriously, much, much, much more difficult and annoying than Ganon himself is. with one pass. so dopey just standing there that without the fanfare you realize just how awkward it is for to do victory poses <laughs> btorp was here is that so well btorp da 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 <laughs> kirby gets the triforce all right, well, that went way faster than most of my randomized sheets that I've done. <laughs> that only took three hours. Not bad at all. 